Hi everyone, my name's Kelly and I'm the Community Manager here at Formula Botanica and we are the online and accredited cosmetic science school and today I'm here with one of our graduates Lucia Mencarelli who launched her brand Casa Mencarelli. Um, hi Lucia, thank you for joining me. Oh hello, thank you very much to you. It's lovely to have you with us. Um, I've met Lucia a few times now at our conferences and we always have a good laugh together. So today we want to chat about her brand and her journey to getting where she is now. So do you want to start by just sharing a little bit about your background? Um, yes. Um, I, I've always been in love with natural skincare. So I remember my first portion, like when I was maybe 18, 19, and it was like... Um, um, an oil made for cellulite. <laughs> and I laugh about it. And I just got ingredients from my father's garden and then it was oh. love. Um, so, you know, I've been studying economics and logistics and the customer service. Um, but then, uh, you know, my love for uh, natural skincare has always been in the background. And um, when I found Formula Botanica, I thought, you know, that's what I want to do and uh, what, um, you know, I'd like to expand my knowledge and do some portions that are a bit more um, elaborate. And so, you know, I started like uh, doing for myself also because I get a um, lot of allergies, you know, it was like looking for something that was not uh, having, uh, it was not making me like reacting to the ingredients. And so, you know, the fact that you can choose the ingredients and you can manage um, how your cream or your uh, you know, skin care is going to look like or is going to feel like, it's like an advantage. So I started like that and then I started to distribute my uh, products to friends and family and they would like it, especially my sister. She was like, look at my skin. I don't need to say anything. Just give me a bit more. And that was the thing that put me like, yeah, you know, maybe I want to do this as a business. And, um, I want to do something more serious and I want to go into deeper. And uh, that's why I, when I enrolled for a few courses with Formula Botanica. And um, yeah, so now I have my brand and um, I'm, you know, I'm feeling quite uh, happy about that. And uh, especially with the response that I'm getting from people. It is beautiful that I can see your brand um, behind you, which is oh, what yeah. you have in your bottles. Um, and that design is lovely. And I've got some of your products here and they are absolutely gorgeous. Do you want to share a bit about your um, sort of the inspiration behind the brand? Because I know it's got a very Mediterranean feel to it. The website is very Mediterranean and beautiful. Um, do you want to share a little bit more about that? Yes. So um, let's see. I'm Italian, you can hear from my accent, I'm not like English. <laughs> um, and so my inspiration was that I wanted to create a brand uh, that's like healthy. So, you know, not only safe, because safe for me is not enough. And um, because safe can be okay for me, but not for somebody else. Instead, when you are on the level of healthy, you are a bit like above. And so obviously, what's better than... Italian ingredients and Mediterranean diet, you know, like a Mediterranean diet for your skin. And um, so I've been choosing for my products ingredients that are mostly coming from Italy, where possible, obviously, depending on the season. And um, so, you know, there is lots of Mediterranean, Mediterranean colors in the ingredients and also on the branding, as you can see up there. So um, the ingredients are uh, like um, mostly like lemons, oranges, and uh, extra virgin olive oil, um, grape seeds. You know, when you think Italy, you think about olive oil, wine, and uh, lemons and oranges. So you know, like natural aromas. And also the branding, I wanted it to to represent Italy and the Mediterranean. That's why you know we want. Uh, uh, the colors on the products, the products are not white, you know, they are uh, full of antioxidants, and the logo is like representing um, especially Umbria, that's my region. And we have in there lots of, um, um, there is a tradition of ceramic, and so it's like hand painted uh, luxury ceramic 
So I thought, you know, I'd like to have my logo represented, um, you know, like by a local artisan and, uh, you know, made it, uh, so, you know, that's what it is. And, um, yeah, so it's um, like the blue of the, of the Italian sea, the Mediterranean, and the yellow or orange of the sunshine. And um, actually, the font is um, is like ancient Umbrian um, style. So you know, it's like even the each letter represents like history from my place. So it's um, yeah, it's like a bit of um, you know tradition. So you know, tradition on the ingredients and tradition on the branding and the logo. That's amazing. I love I love that all all of it has some. Um, of relevance to the heritage and that sort of Mediterranean feel which really comes across on the website are absolutely beautiful um so I just love that but I love that there's so much meaning behind it as well and so the name um obviously part of it's your surname but do you want to explain the full meaning behind the name yes so obviously Mencarelli is my surname and casa means house so you know it's house of Mencarelli and um, that's because um, I wanted it to feel like a family and tradition and also because uh, my family, when they can and how they can, they will help. So it's like um, traditional Italian heritage and, um, you know, all the colors and the ingredients of the Italian tradition coming through organic skincare, full of antioxidants and with no added... Uh, like fragrances or essential oil. So it's like all natural and traditional. Oh, and good for the skin. Yes, <laughs> it is. I've tried. I'm using your serum at the moment and it's absolutely beautiful. And it is very colourful as well. It's not white or clear. It's got a lot of colour to it. Definitely lots of good oils in there. It's beautiful. Yeah, so beta carotene. <laughs> yes, loads of beta carotene. It's beautiful. Um, really orange in colour. Um, you just feel that it's really nourishing your skin. So yes, one of my favourite serums now. So do you have, um, so you've got a beautiful range of products on your website. Do you have uh, any that stand out at the moment? Any bestsellers already? Um, so there are a couple that are bestsellers, like the serum, as you say, and the toner, <laughs> and the toner probably because they're easier. And uh, so the toner is made, uh, you know, just uh, simple ingredients like um, honey, you know, that's Italian honey, organic and um, orange blossom water so you have um, you know it's ideal for um, let's say even for sensitive skin but mature and um, you know all skin types will benefit and the people come to me and say oh god you know i'm becoming addicted to this <laughs> beautiful smell natural so i'm not using essential oil because i found them a bit um, strong and also they contain lots of allergens but with the floral waters, especially, you know, like orange, um, there are no allergens. So, you know, it's like a distilled uh, orange flower water. So it's like, and the combination with the honey makes it sweet and very pleasant on the skin, but also for the senses. So that's one of the best sellers. The other one is the serum because it's, uh, again, light and fruity. And um, again, this one is a base of um, olive oil, grapeseed oil, but also there is the sea buckthorn and the pomegranate. So, you know, they make a mix of uh, natural fruity smells. And then we have the Italian seaweed extract that will boost the collagen. And uh, so, you know, it's like a light on the skin, but... Um, with, uh, with something on the background that, you know, will help uh, your skin to look better. And actually, I've done myself because I like to, you know, to use every day something different. Like, you know, one day in Bellissima Bal, and another day the serum, and another day, like, the tomato cleanser. But I tried three weeks only using the toner and the serum together, and I could feel and see my skin like looking a bit better and different so you know it's like uh, probably down to personal preference but i see that my skin really likes this combination and probably that's why also there are two bestsellers <laughs> even like 
the mask is doing really well and the belly is not balmed. And I get a lot of curiosity on the tomato cream cleanser because it's made with um, tomato seed um, oil and carrot seed oil. So it has like, again, a bit of sweet uh, smell and uh, very pleasant on the skin, you know, especially for removing makeup. So, you know, it's a bit, uh, people is curious and try different things and then they come back and buy for their friends and family. So it's uh, encouraging. Oh, that's fantastic. They all sound lovely as well. I love this Bellissima balm. That sounds so nice. <laughs> but tomato cleanser, it's not something you hear of very often either so i think that's a really nice um unusual um ingredient which sounds fantastic and we're going to have to try more of these products <laughs> yeah you know when you think about it you think about pizza tomato and so you know that's yeah. the other like you know you must have something with tomato and mm. but yeah you know it was i really love the the smell of the of the soil so it's like a set to be there oh. Perfect. They all sound amazing. They sound lovely. So um, I want to ask about um, from the Botanica. So obviously you found us. Um, which courses did you take with us and kind of how did you find studying with us? I know you've been to the conference, you've met a lot of the other students, um, so you've been a big uh, part of the community for the last few years as well. So could you just share a little bit more about that? Yes, so first of all, I'm really glad that I found Formula Botanica because the method of studying is logic and it, uh, it follows my logic so you know it was very easy and um, um, I found it progressing quite well because uh, all the material is um, available in writing or in video and um, and then there is the community if you have questions so it's uh, and then there are like um, uh, exams usually like that you know to pass. and so you like uh, um, you have, um, you know, you study with a good rhythm and you understand things properly because you have uh, a selection of um, means that you can use to to deepen your understanding. And um, one of the, well, the best course uh, I've done of it is the organic skin care and um, that's the one that gave me more ideas on what to do and uh, which ingredients to use and the combination of ingredients. And um, and then I've done the stability and the natural preservation. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I'm looking at the rest. Is it of getting <laughs> about the hair and <laughs> lots more to do. <laughs> and uh, yeah, other stuff as well. But no, really happy with the uh, with the structure of the classes and the um, um, all the information available. Yeah. Brilliant. I've loved having you as part of the community as well. It's been lovely. So it was the diploma you started with and then you moved on and did the preservative and stability testing courses, which is fantastic because they're very important, as you know, as a formula, to very important topics as well. Fantastic. Yeah, especially, you know, you when um, when you do products that they need to go to the laboratory for testing, you want to make sure that you don't waste your money. So, you know, yeah. you have the knowledge about stability and natural preservation is an advantage. So you send your products that are already ready to pass the test. Yeah. <laughs> money wasted. Yeah, exactly. Definitely. It's really worth knowing your stuff before you start sending things off for testing. So, so yeah, great courses. And we've loved having you at the conferences for the last couple of years as well. So it's been lovely having you part of the community. So what I'd love to ask you is where you plan to take uh, your brand now. What do you see over the next few years? Um, do you see any more products or any new sort of parts of your business? Yeah. Um, at the moment, I'm working alone on the you know everything from marketing to selling to social media and the formulation and uh, everything. Um, but. Um, what I'd like to do is to grow organically and uh, to develop into maybe like first body range and then baby range because I have nieces and nephew and uh, they love my product so that they will be my models <laughs> <laughs> and also because I see many of my friends again they have children and they ask me oh, can you prepare me something that's you know, really natural for my baby or for my child and so they come back with very positive um, feedback so you know the next thing will be the baby range maybe something like bellissimo baby 
sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah, so like, um, yeah, you know, I see progressing and um, I feel really motivated and because my mission is to make people feel good and healthy, you know, like to complement a healthy lifestyle. So my brand is like very green and organic and is made to complement a healthy lifestyle. So everybody looking for health. And today, you know, there is a big movement like organic, but also like natural lifestyle. And so I see expanding, uh, how do you say, expanding sector in there. And that's where I want to be. Brilliant, because you've got a blog on your website. Um, and I was reading through some of the articles and it's um, partly on skincare, but you do blog a lot about sort of a natural, healthy lifestyle and natural nutrition. Uh, like I said, the Mediterranean diet, which is so high in essential fatty acids and things like that. So, um, so I could definitely see your brand expanding more in that as well um, with the uh, Italian inspiration behind it. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, no, because, you know, it's all together. It's not like, uh, oh, you know, I have uh, spots or I have acne or my skin is dry. There is always a reason behind this. So when people contact me, I don't uh, just give advice on the skincare. I also tell them, you know, like a diet, what should be eating. Also because um, I have a diploma in nutrition as well. So, you know, it's a personal interest again. But, you know, so I can advise people on making, how do you say, feel beautiful because, you know, it's everything like the way you feel. No? So if you are in peace with yourself, you feel healthy, your skin is healthy, you feel so much better. And actually, I have um, a couple of people that um, uh, left me like reviews to say that uh, I've been changing their life. Like I have one lady saying that, you know, after 41 years, she now feels that she wants to feel beautiful. And that's the first time that she starts to take care of herself and of her skin. And I was like, oh, God, I'm so happy because, you know. I like to help people and because of all my allergies and all my background, I know how bad you can feel when you don't see a way out or you, if you don't like yourself or if you, know, if you have a problem on the skin. Because, you know, the skin is what you show to the, to the world, not to the external world. So if you don't feel confident with that, it's like um, you don't open to, you, to the world. And so when you feel better with yourself, it's like uh, you're more confident, you know, you show off your confidence and that's what I'm aiming to. So, you know, it's like feeling beautiful or bellissima outside, but also inside, you know, because you're healthy and because you're doing something uh, for yourself. Fantastic. I love that. I love the whole branding. I love the whole idea of the whole holistic approach to, to wellness, which is fantastic. So. Obviously, at Farm Botanica, I have a lot of people who also dream of launching their own uh, skincare brand, and some are just starting out. So, do you have a top tip that you could offer um, anyone listening um, who would like to launch their own brand in the future? Um, yes. So, first of all, don't think it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> so, there are, well, to me, it took about three years to have everything set up because. Uh, I wanted organic certification with Cosmo Soil Association. And so only for the organic certification, it took one year. Yeah. One year to agree the ingredients, the formulations, and the suppliers. Because uh, when you have um, um, a certification, you know, you need to agree everything with the, you know, with the other parts. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I actually, I know that I've done right because like that, there is a double check, double check of the supplier, the way the ingredients are stored, and um, also checking with myself because if any ingredient is making me like reacting, like, you know, asthma or um, something like wrong, that doesn't go in the, in the product. So... I would say if you have your passion for organic skincare, you also need to keep into consideration that you need money and you need a uh, lot of motivation because uh, it's not going to be easy, especially at the beginning, you'll do everything on your own, like from marketing, uh, formulation, testing, social media, and uh, you know, whatever it, you, know, you need to do it. Um, but, you know, if you have a passion and you have a few savings, 
I would say, I don't know, at least 10,000 pounds. You can do it. And um, so before choosing anything from the packaging and uh, like if you want any certifications like vegan or organic, search your market. So is organic important to your target market? Or is natural important to your target market? And also, what are you aiming for? So do you want just to sell big or do you want to have a niche? So what's your niche? What's your, um, you know, what they, what products are they looking for? But yeah, you know, basically have a plan. Don't just say, oh, you know, yeah, I love uh, skincare and I want to do skincare. It's not as easy as you think because there are so many regulations, you know, with the European market and uh, now the Brexit coming up. And yes. so, you know, but, you know, again, you know, if you want to sell to Europe, you still need to, um, to comply to the European legislation. So that's one of the hardest, fortunately, because, you know, so we know that there is control. So there are many things uh, to keep into consideration, but if you are determined and motivated, just do it. That's the best thing. Good advice. And very realistic advice as well. I mean, it's not easy, um, but um, if you have got that determination and motivation and that passion for natural skincare, um, you know, it's all definitely possible. Um, but yeah, it does take a lot of dedication to get there. Um, so thank you very much um, for the advice and for sharing your story. I'm sure you're going to inspire lots of other people. Um, and please do check out Lucia's website. We'll have the links uh, for you so that you can check out her wonderful products as well. Um, if you are interested in taking our courses, you can check them out at formulabotanica.com. Uh, we also have a free sample class there as well, which you can try um, to see what you think of our teaching style. Uh, so thank you very much, Lucia. It's been really lovely to talk to you again today. Thank you very much. And um, really happy. Thank you very much. We shall speak to you again soon. And thank you all for watching.